Well, here to give us some insight into President Trump's case to overturn the election, please welcome former Trump team attorney and now lead attorney on a host of legal actions across the country in support of the president, Sidney Powell. Sidney, good to have you on the program. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for having me. So, Sidney, you know, the first question that all our viewers have asked, the, the term the Kraken comes up. Has the Kraken <laughs> been released yet? What is the Kraken? Can you explain it to everybody? <laughs> well, uh, you know, it comes from a line in the movie uh, and, and uh, <laughs> the, either the Iliad or the Odyssey. The Odyssey, I think, the mythical sea monster that could destroy anything in its path. I remember. So, we're yes, waiting for your know. Kraken, though, <laughs> Sidney. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're calling me the Kraken, and, and I have been released <laughs> to go after all the fraud I can see and find. So that's, that's kind of the uh, analogy there. All right, so how is the case going, in your opinion? Are you where you want to be? Should it be moving faster? Where does it stand? Well, the 11th Circuit just rejected our appeal from the district court's partial grant of relief. Uh, to us. And so we'll be back in the district court for a hearing, uh, hopefully Monday or Tuesday. We'll see where it goes from there. But one of the things we want and have been trying to get with great opposition is the voting machines to be secured all across the state of Georgia, because massive evidence of the shaving of votes and the flipping of votes from uh, Trump to Biden exists in those machines, except to the extent they've been erasing things and destroying evidence as fast as they can do it. I have in my office right now a huge bag of shredded ballots. I can't wait to see what that discloses. And there are more on the way. Uh, so uh, Cobb County, where Gwinnett do you County. Get, where do you get the shredded ballots from? Who turns those over to you? Uh, citizens are out there uh, watching and observing everything. The people of America are not going to allow our president to be defeated by fraudulent election mechanisms. And these people have used every manner and means of voter fraud you can imagine. It was heavily coordinated. It was heavily funded. And they now have 25 lawyers or so lined up against us, our little ragtag team of, of uh, misfit toys that are trying to fight for truth and justice for the American people. Well, you know, your ragtag team has some pretty impressive folks on it, including some real high-tech security experts and cybersecurity experts. Um, Colonel Waldron had spelled out that he had been able to somewhat reverse engineer and, and white ha hat hackers had been able to, to see that votes had gone overseas. Do you have that proof to present to a court? Yes, we have scads of evidence. We have statistical evidence. We have mathematical impossibilities. It's simply impossible for hundreds of thousands of votes to certain, suddenly accrue to Mr. Biden. You have that incident on tape, which is abject evidence of fraud. Nobody hides ballots under a table. Mr. Raffensperger was flat out lying. Anybody who can read body language can tell that. There should be a criminal investigation of his and his deputy the secretary's finances around the time of the $107 million Dominion contract that was suddenly awarded in Georgia when they didn't need a new system. I, the, the whole thing stinks to high heaven. You know, they lied to get rid of the observers in the audit in the State Farm Center that night. Then they pull out the ballots they had segregated under the table that just happened to turn out 98% for Biden. Yes, right. They do it after telling so everybody I to I leave. I want to play for you a soundbite from one of Raffensperger's uh, workers that was on Newsmax today explaining that they've somehow debunked this. I don't know how they do that in less than 24 no. hours uh, where we continue to gather more evidence from the video as the days go on. But listen to this and I'll get your response. Everything was there. There was nothing new brought in. We didn't see somebody wheeling stuff into the room. We saw stuff that was already in the room that the monitors already saw brought in. And then you saw the processes they're doing. Essentially what happened, the elections director called the absentee coordinator that's saying, we're not shutting down. Tell them they gotta go back to work because the counting people thought they were also getting to go home. So they were kind of disappointed. Tired elections workers suddenly become the Ocean's Eleven crew as part of a theft of an election. Or is it more likely they were tired and irritated? 
I can't listen to this guy. I, I really can't because I don't even think he's looked at the video in, in a manner to come to all, any of those conclusions because any reasonable person, Sidney Powell, would come to a conclusion you need further investigation to at least interview these people. There's no way they had time to do that. Well, there's no reason to lie to begin with to get rid of everyone and pull ballots out from under a table that run 98% or better for Biden if you're not committing fraud. You certainly don't run the same stack of ballots through the machine twice, but that's what they do when they want to generate massive amount of votes that they already know, like a crew for Biden, because they were that way. Those were probably the pristine ballots that were all marked, pre-marked for Biden by a machine. It, it's, it's such it's, flagrant it's, it's, evidence of fraud throughout this case. They're sticking it in our this faces. this was the other way around, Sydney, if this was the other way around, as I said, there'd be a thousand live trucks lined out in front of the elections office in Fulton County, Georgia today, and it's not happening. Last question for you, if you could do it in about 30 seconds. It's what everybody wants to know. Can you win this? How close are you? Because, man, the clock is ticking here. Seconds are our worst enemy right now. Well, actually, with the fraud case, the December 8th the deadline doesn't apply. We have at least until December 14th. We might file more suits, but a court in uh, Michigan or Wisconsin today just gave us a great order recognizing that these are not pure election contests that we are filing. These are massive fraud suits that can set aside the results of the election due to this fraud at any time. And the state should and not and Sydney, be certifying are you the, president, the election results in the face of it. Are you and the president still on good terms with everything that happened before, the team, on the team, off the team, and all that? Oh, yes. Yes. There's no problem there. All right. Sydney Powell, it is great to have you on the program. I know you've got to be exhausted, uh, but your work, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.